Hmm. Now, is there a three-sixteenth or three-eighth I need? Ah, fuck, I can't remember. Oh! Hey there, zombies and zombros. You caught me, uh, in the middle of something. But, while I have you here, I might as well take this chance to give you guys another Saint Review. See, there's a new zombie film making the rounds on Netflix. It's called Wormwood. You just know I couldn't stay away from it for long. But, before we talk about this new feature, we first have to take a trip back in time. Back to before the multitude of crappy zombie movies you've seen lately. Back to the days of 1992, when Australia was producing a zombie movie that remains cool even to today. Made by a little known New Zealander called Peter Jackson, it mixed zombies with comedy, original ideas, and wacky Aussie characters. Cut to 23 years later, and Wormwood is an obvious homage to Brain Dead. But adding in a few elements of its own, the main character, almost a dead ringer for Bruce Campbell from the Evil Dead series, is trying to get to his sister's place in the middle of a zombie plague. Not only are there zombies everywhere, but petrol has suddenly become non flammable. The only solution? Rig a car to the gases that zombies breathe out and make an armored truck running on zombies. Meanwhile, the sister is being captured by sadistic, psychopathic military sites in order to experiment on it. There are many references to cult films like The Evil Dead and Mad Max, and the ending of the film leaves a lot of places for sequels to bizarre plot devices and comically stoic characters like Frank contrast well with the always somber lead, Barry. That said, the character development of Benny is a bit problematic. What starts out as cringe-inducing stereotyping quickly moves to what might be construed as racism. It could be the case that this is an attempt at deeper social commentary on the genre or Australian films in general, but that might be a stretch given the overall tone of the film. The practical effects are decent, and the use of CG, while not perfect, doesn't take away from the experience. There are some gory shots, but these are nothing that more squeamish viewers won't be able to handle if they're familiar with the genre. There isn't really too much in the way of character development, and while the plot is fairly light, the pacing and the way the film jumps between multiple different storylines makes the film enjoyable to watch. One of the things that makes this film stand out is a somewhat surreal and often mysterious cast of characters. It might be the case that the filmmakers left the characters underdeveloped on purpose. Either way, the somewhat larger than life characters work out well with the overall ambience of the piece, especially when reflecting on a certain theme revealed by Frank, the doctor in particular stands out. Just how long has it been since the dead started rising again? In the end, viewers are likely to be left with some unanswered questions, but it is forgivable if we take this to be a slightly different zombie universe than we are used to. Ultimately, Wormwood is a fun and enjoyable film that will be practically enjoyable for zombie fans, partially because it unapologetically refuses to be held back by the unspoken rules of the genre. This is not a perfect film, but considering that it is an Australian zombie movie made with unknown actors and probably a low budget, there was no chance it could have been. Instead, we are treated to a wonderfully original film made by people who clearly enjoy playing with the genre and love the same movies that we do. I salute the filmmakers for taking some risks and ultimately producing an interesting take on an otherwise tired genre. Bottom line, more than anything, this is a fun film. If you liked Brain Dead or The Evil Dead, you will like this one as well. It opens an interesting idea, also used in the season finale of Z Nation, The Zombie Whisperer. People die or live based on luck more than anything, and it is refreshing to see this in an era when nobody ever dies for fear of antagonizing the viewers. I recommend it. I enjoyed watching this film. 
Okay, kiddies, now that your thirst for zombie knowledge and blood and brains have been satiated, I have to be off. I've got some modifications to make to my rolling war machine. So, I've been C-357, soon to be tycoon of the zombie fuel market, here for WickedZombies.com. And as always, go out and enjoy the waste.